Hello guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to connect Atom IDE to our local development instance because a lot of people find it difficult to edit, they end up trying to use Nano using Nano or some editors which is not really good for a development instance How to achieve this is first, go to your YouTube, um, sorry, your file manager that is a good file manager called Nautilus or something come down to this option at the bottom connect to a server you type sf sftp colon slash slash your server username that is this vps username which is frappy for my instance that is my frappy username at the ip address i already, I already have it that thing info once you are done typing click enter if you haven't used this to log in before, it will ask you for your password. Though so mine may not ask me for my password, but it will definitely ask you for your password. Once you type in your password, it will launch you in into your VPS and shows you your file directory. Your directory is in home slash the username mine is frappy. And here you find every resource here. It also shows you your hidden folders to so hide the hidden folder you you hold control H, you should hide the hidden files and folder. To confirm this, I'm not logging in using another terminal session. Okay. Here this. You can see what, what we have is the same we have what sent up we have backup bench, the team BK, the bench, sent here backup bench, the team BK. The have been site on the store config and this is TMP temporary directory is what you can see here so we are on the same page the question is how do we connect this atom or whichever one you have to this VMware well that is very simple I'm going to open my dev page open my apps directory this is ERP next and Frappy and when I create a custom app it will be listed here what you should do is right click here Use the last option, open a local terminal. Here, type in Atom dot enter. This will launch Atom. Beautiful. This is Atom launched. You want to close this tabs, please stop and stop. Looking at the left hand side, you can see your apps. At the top, you can also see how it got connected. Um, here you can see the IP address, the user Frappe home, Frappe dev bench, and the apps. These are directories, they are next content, and this is Frappe content. And our custom app, when added, will be listed below here so we can edit it easily. You can now get through the ERP next source code. This is perfect. So most of you guys must have been looking for a way to connect ERP next. Um, sorry, connect a Frappe instance to an IDE locally. This is how you can do it. I believe this is well explained. I will quit this now and restart. Quit. So close this. Close this as well. Unmount. Yes. Okay. How do I connect back? Come in here. Type in this using the SFTP colon frappy as your IP address. Connect. If you haven't had, uh, fed in your password, you ask for your password. That locks you in. You click on home when logged in home. Click on your user. Click on the directory you created. Bench directory. Go into the apps. Right click with your mouse, click on open local terminal, type atom dot. If it is others we are using, type in the maybe sublime sublime dash text dot. This should open up a local instance. If sublime dot text is recognized, I don't think it's that text or whichever. I'm using atom, type atom dot enter that will open this in my local development instance or. Editor. 
and you observe that it kept history of what the last file I opened, which is education.py. Okay, that is beautiful. Thanks for watching this section. I hope you understand this better now. We'll see in the next section.